Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I am going to set up a new sensor that is H3 list 331DI. Let's move on to the website controleverything.com and here search on for this sensor so that we can have an overall view for this sensor which says that H3 list 331DL is a 3-axis linear accelerometer. It's an I2C mini module as you can see. It's and it has a dynamically selectable scale or full scale range is plus minus 100G, 200G and 400G and it's a 16 bit data output and the result will be there. You can also purchase this sensor from this very site. Further, I will be showing the interfacing of this sensor with uh, Arduino Nano and for that I require the code. So go to the resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now you can download the Arduino code sample as zip file from this very site, like this. Now also you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what we require is to set up this device with some hardware and make some connections for that. This here is our sensor that is H3 list 331 dl accelerometer. Now, what we are looking forward is this, an Arduino Nano. Now, to make a connection among the sensor and the Nano, we need an I2C shield which you are able to see and this is also available on the website controleverything.com. The reason we are using is to make connections with other I2C devices and rather make them easy. This is the reason we use I2C shield. Now, gently press over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make this connection. Further ahead, we need an a connecting cable so that we can make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield and there is a rule we apply to this that while making connection the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the ground wire of the cable and similarly on the other end to the ground of I2C shield like this. Now finally we need to power up our Arduino Nano and here comes a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack. And hence, we are done with the hardware connections we need to set up the uh, device. So, what we need is a code so that we can proceed it and let it work. Well, as we are done with the connections part, now we want to interface the Arduino Nano with the sensor, and for that, we require the code. So, for that, log in to github.com, and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. Now, log in here and here search for the sensor that is H3 Li double S1 uh, S331 DL. Yeah, that's correct. And here comes the Arduino code sample. Now, let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow and to pursue the Arduino code. And it says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine. And this is the link which will help us to install the Arduino. Let's have a look over this link so that we can familiarize ourselves with the instructions and as you can see we can have the Arduino software and it runs on the Windows, Mac operating system and Linux here. Yeah, please uh, install it carefully. Now get back to the code so that we can have the explanation of each and every step we have formed in the code. As you can see it's a .io extension file. In the first step as you can see we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x18. Now in the void setup function, we have initialized ITC communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Now comes the writing section part so that we can have the data sent for the transfer. Now we have selected control register 1 and the address of the register is 0x20 and the command we are going to send is enable x, y, z axis power on mode along with data output rate 50 hertz and it's 0x27. Now the, for the second command, we are selecting the control list of O having address 0x23 and the command we are going to send is to set full scale range of plus minus 100G and continuous update mode and this is 0x00. Now we are done with the writing commands. Now we want to read the data back from the sensor and here comes the void loop function and we have the data for 6 as you can see in the for loop function we have selected the register for 40 plus i it's a decimal equivalent of the hexadecimal address and we are requesting one byte of data and total of six bytes of acceleration data for three axes perpendicular axis x y and z as we are done with the pulling of the data now we want to convert the data of the acceleration which we are using 
the formulas which described clearly in the data sheet for H3 list 3, 3, 1, DL. Now, at the very end of our code, we want to display the code on the output monitor. As you can see, seal monitor and acceleration in X, Y, and Z axis are there. Three axes there. Now, let's have a look over the code. As you can see, go through it carefully. Now, what do we require is to show the working. Let's watch it. Now, for the working environment, first of all, we have to copy this Arduino, Arduino code. So here we go, as you can see on my screen, and open up the Arduino terminal here. Now, in the Arduino terminal, we have to create a new file and paste the entire code here and save it and name it h 3 less 331dl for the naming convention. And here we go. Now verify and compile the code. It's done. Now upload the code. It might take a while to upload, but let's see. And here we done. Now we want to see the output on the serial monitor. So let's open up and let's have a look over that. Now, as you can see, we have the acceleration data for three perpendicular axes X, Y, and Z. Now, this data is almost stable, which says that there is no motion in the sensor. But when I try to move the sensor, you can see the change in the acceleration data for the all three axes X, Y, and Z. Now here we go, as you can see, we have the acceleration data changes for the three axes. So this is how the sensor works along with the Arduino code. Now what do we require is to see the benefits, the features and along with the sensor applications. The H3 list 331DL is a low power, high performance 3 axis linear accelerometer belonging to the nano family with digital I2C SPI serial interface standard output. Now the device features ultra low power operational modes that allow advanced power saving and smart sleep to wake up functions. The sensor has dynamically user selectable full scale of plus minus 100G, plus minus 200G, plus minus 400G and it is capable of measuring accelerations with output data rate from 0.5 Hz to 1 kHz. Now it's used in wide range of applications such as shock detection, impact recognition and logging and conclusion detection. You can purchase the Sensor H3 list 331DL from the website controlleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download it as a zip file. Also you can have the code from github.com and you can download it from the repository that is Control Everything Community. Now in the end I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any queries you can contact us on controlleverything.com and you can post your comments your queries on community page. Also for the articles and blogs you can reach us on instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end I hope you enjoyed this video and have yourself a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.